G'day guys, how you doing? And I'm super excited to be reviewing the new Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i. So uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, guys, so let's get straight into the unboxing, shall we? It's always fun opening up uh, something new. So uh, we'll get rid of, rid of that. We don't need that. Um, so we've got our Allen key uh, here with the um, a quarter to three eight uh, adapter. Uh, we have the polar scope. Oops. Poloscope Illuminator. We've got the one kilo uh, counterweight and the uh, counterweight shaft as well. Oops. We have the uh, an adapter uh, plate here for your camera, as well as the larger um, dovetail. Uh, adapter plate and camera adapter which um, your counterweight balance shaft screws into here like so and then your counterweight on there we also have another plate here the uh, the equatorial wedge itself which uh, is no really, uh, it's pretty much the same as the, uh, as the other version. And then we have the uh, mount itself. Now, just by looking at this uh, mount here, it's the same size, it feels about the same weight um, as my other version, uh, but it has a little Wi-Fi uh, symbol here on the side. And on your dial side, there are uh, a few different um, dials to pick from, and we'll cover that uh, a bit later. So uh, that's all the stuff there that you get in this nifty little foam um, Pro Pack uh, box. So let's have a look at the uh, mode dial a little bit, uh, a little bit more in depth here. So obviously we've got our off button, and then our app uh, button there. So as I said earlier, that there uh, begins the Wi-Fi, turns on the Wi-Fi device, and we can start to uh, connect up to our um, to our app. All right. Next, we have the LT, and LT is a uh, long exposure time lapse mode. Next to that, we have uh, RT, which is a regular exposure time lapse mode. Uh, let's just make sure I'm going the right way there. Okay, uh, the star, there is uh, Astro time lapse mode. And then we've got Astro mode with lunar tracking, Astro mode with solar tracking, Astro photography mode with celestial tracking. And then if I've done all this right, timed it all right, then we've got off. So let's turn on the Wi-Fi and start using the app and see just where this device really starts to shine with the Wi-Fi um, added to it. Now, all we need to do is switch our dial through to app. Now I'm running this uh, through my iPad, um, works through your iPad and uh, through your uh, iPhone there on Apple devices. Can't comment on how it works for Android devices, but uh, all we're gonna do now is open up our settings, go to our Wi-Fi, and connect to our uh, 
Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i mount. Once that's done there, we're just going to open up the Skywatcher app. And as we can see here, we are uh, connected. Now, for me, I like to uh, switch on to astrophotography mode. And what I can do now is select how long of an exposure I wish to uh, expose for, the interval between um, each shot. So maybe three seconds gives it time for the uh, um, if you're using a DSLR or mirrorless camera, it gives it time for the uh, the card to uh, read and write, and how many photos um, you wish to uh, take in your uh, session there. Once that's all done, you can uh, then save that profile uh, if you want there um, by adding in how long an exposure that one there is done for. So now if I want to switch to a 35 second, I can with three uh, second interval, five photos, or we'll switch to uh, my 60 second exposure. You can then also uh, have obviously your, your dithering um, range on. You can pick your uh, different sort of tracking rates as well. And uh, whether you want uh, Wi-Fi off while it's running, I don't, uh, I don't personally bother with that. Uh, then you can go back and you can select all these other uh, functions here. So your astro uh, time lapse function, your regular um, exposure time lapse, and your long exposure um, time lapse functions there. So, all right. So what I want to do now is give these guys a quick demonstration on how this whole system works together. Unfortunately, we can't go out and shoot um some night sky objects or some wide field images or some nightscapes because i've got a, a full moon um rising as well as uh very just poor weather in general the um plenty of clouds about uh, at night unfortunately because we've had some beautiful weather during the day but we can't shoot astro during the day really so um yeah i figured this would be a really good opportunity to still show you guys on how this whole system here works so what we need is a uh, cable specific to your camera. And what that will do then is trigger that exposure. Okay. With my Z7 here, I've got the, uh, the exposure mode in bulb mode. Um, it only works, it will only shoot uh, one exposure in time mode. So make sure you've got it in bulb mode. All right. So that way it can continue to shoot multiple uh, exposures there. All right. So once that's all done, you've got your settings all right, you're in bulb mode, you have the right cable connected to your uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i mount. You're gonna switch that dial to app, and then you're gonna go on your uh, iPad or phone device and uh, enable your Wi-Fi and connect, um, connect to your mount. Once you've done that, you're then gonna open up your um, Skywatcher uh, app and uh, and begin to uh, start having some fun. So what I will be personally doing myself is using um, astrophotography mode in the app itself, because for me, I just use it for uh, nightscape photography. So all I need is uh, a bit of tracking and longer exposures, plus an additional uh, few extra exposures on that to have a bit of, uh, bit of stacking, bit of noise reduction sort of thing going on there. So, Exposures for the, uh, normally I'd probably shoot anywhere from uh, one minute to two minute exposures for my nightscape uh, images. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna be shooting a five second uh, exposures. So that way you guys can see it uh, rolling on and uh, continuing shooting. So five second, the interval, I'm gonna change that to uh, one second. Again, just demonstration purposes. Otherwise I'd normally maybe go an extra two seconds or three seconds to allow that data to read to the uh, to the card, and I'm only going to I'm only going to shoot uh, three um, three photos for this uh, this demonstration. So once all that's done, camera's all on, ready to go. Uh, all I need to do now is hit run, and away it goes. So this is just shooting off the first exposure. It's finished. There we go, it's starting the second exposure now. Should uh, yep, finish in a sec. 
it's still in its three. So it's uh, last exposure right now. So that's really cool because usually what I used to um, do is have a uh, uh, remote trigger and my phone and I would have to go, okay, start the stopwatch, push it all at the same time, wait for it to, uh, uh, to get to its two minutes or its minute or however long I'm exposing for and then stop it and then start it all again. So this Wi-Fi enabled version uh, is gonna help out tremendously uh, with that. And I'm super excited to begin imaging with the Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i uh, Wi-Fi there for my nightscape images. So in conclusion, the Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i with the additional uh, Wi-Fi is, uh, is gonna be an extremely welcomed addition to my portable nightscape tracking um, Astro setup. I'm gonna love shooting with this device here. I already love shooting with the, uh, the original Sky, Skywatcher Star Adventurer, but now that's got Wi-Fi, it's just made my life a heck of a lot easier. So uh, yeah, that brings us pretty much to the end of this uh, review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please don't forget to ask. And, uh, and don't forget, please give me the big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I mean, this is my first sort of unboxing uh, review of a, of a device like this. And I hope I've answered a fair few of your questions. Well, guys, that's it for me. So uh, yeah, don't forget, big thumbs up, leave me a comment. And uh, until next time, take it easy. See ya.